go in there and you're looking at it and you're thinking this is quite nice. I would like this to felt. I want this to felt. You want to felt with it. Then purchase that fabric. Why not? It's only a few dollars anyway. And then felt it and see if it works. So today what we're going to do is just take a whole bunch of fabrics that I got at the op shop and lay them out on one piece and see what felt. I have this silk fabric from Dharma Trading. You can put into your printer and print it off. You can print off designs that you want to print onto the silk. It says muffs. Cut it out and then just put that onto the fabric. Another thing I have is this transfer paper. And so you just print whatever you want to print onto it. And then I will iron it onto a piece of fabric. Or you could lay that fabric that doesn't shrink at all underneath a piece of silk and then that silk will just bubble over top. Add it to my sample and you can see what both of those look like in the end. So I've already put this iron-on transfer onto the ribbon. So that turned out pretty good. This is the nylon, so I'll grab some of that. This is a really pretty fabric. I have some other bits of cotton. This one is from Color Streams in Australia. Here is a scarf. And funnily enough, that one looks quite similar from the op shop. Quite fun. Felt amazing. So I'm not really sure what it is, uh, but it felt beautifully. Kind of feels cottony. Something like this is really fun. So this fabric kind of feels like polyester, but I'm thinking it's silk because this felt amazing. This is a very beautiful piece. I'll cut a small piece off of it. It does felt in, but it's got to be a mix of polyester and cotton. This nice fabric. You can get this cotton gauze pretty much anywhere. You can even get it at the dollar store and then you can dye it with cotton dyes. There is stuff that shouldn't be in here, in here. This velvet silk, amazing fabric. I don't know what to do with it yet, but I love it. I'm gonna try and felt a small piece, but I'm pretty sure I already tried felting with this and my felt just didn't migrate through, but I'll try it again. Orange fabric, floral fabric. Here is another op shop sort of thing, so pretty. I just love how sheer the nylon is and so you could put things underneath it. I have some very thick silks and you would be surprised that the merino wool can migrate through such thick silks. Some purple cotton, hand dyed silk, it's kind of ugly but I could try some of that. Stretchy fabric, stretchy merino wool and so you could make stretchy garments by leaving gaps and then having those gaps kind of stretch. From the garden store, they have felted with them and they make really cool thing. No matter what, it's still silk and it feels really nice. Continue to use silk in your projects just to look out for where the silk is coming from and how it's being produced. Buy our silk from traditional silk farmers or farmers who use the traditional methods of making silk so that the worms don't become too stressed. Pretty yellow cotton, really soft, not a high quality silk, but it is silk. You can find awesome fabric at Alp Shop. That one looks awesome on like, on like a purple, a darker blue. Yeah, so you can really see the silk come through on that color. It's gorgeous. Everybody wants this and it's just, it's really nice. This hand painted silk. Some of that, maybe some of that an open weave in it. This nylon, it's the op shop scarf. It's not my favorite, but it could, it, somebody could do something really nice with it. It does have a stiffer texture. Bag from a festival and somebody said that it was silk. It didn't stick at all, actually. Love this fabric. It is quite pretty. Very luxurious, very soft. So many different woven open weave fabrics from the craft store. Idea for garments, amazing, right? And then some felt, maybe a nice vest to experiment and try it. You just never know. These are really cheap from the dollar store. They're pretty soft, actually. <laughs> Softer than the garden store silk scarves. These are ribbon and put it underneath. I mean, it has this beautiful sheen under the gauze. 100% silk, it's really nice. Because this is a merino, so that might be fun.
wanted to thank everyone who comments on my videos. It's very encouraging to receive those comments. If you love the videos and you're enjoying what you're seeing and you want to support the channel even more, I do have a new super thanks button down below. I'm gonna go towards upgrading the YouTube studio better software to make videos. Should we open this up and see what it looks like? Things have definitely stuck down. I kind of like it. Could use it for something. I'm very impressed that the knitted pieces have stuck down so quickly. The whole felting process and the rolling process is a gradual, slow process of rolling the fiber in the noodle that is bigger first and agitating it ever so gently, hovering. And then I slowly move to smaller and smaller rolling, no noodle at all. Because it's rolled up tighter, it's felting more quickly. The fibers are closer together, just hovering over the felt so that it rolls. I really love how vivid this text is staying underneath the silk or on the silk. And I also want to remind you that your felt is done when you love it. If you like it how it is like this, then it's done. I tend to over roll and over felt everything. I love a really strong piece of felt and a really crunkled up piece of felt. Here's the velvet piece. I'm just amazed it had felted. This one's my favorite. So I would say that the soap has come out of my project and I don't need to rinse it. I'm also going to finish it on a dry towel. I might even add more water to it and so that will help rinse the soap out. The knitwear had felted in very easily. Same with this little piece and that one is looking awesome. I would do more of that. I'm into knitwear and I would totally cut up knitwear that I found at an op shop. Just stick it on. I think what I'm going to do is actually knit some bags and felt them up. Do some videos on that at some point. I really love the ribbon underneath. Could add some pizzazz. Nice things going on. What's that? really like this one too. That is a ribbon and it's underneath silk. Mine, none of the ink came off. This one didn't fully get covered, I kind of knew, or it actually came through the nylon because the corners are pointed. So I recommend um, not using pointed corners. You need to cut the corners. Make sure you cut the corners and then put your ribbon underneath, um, especially if it's kind of a delicate material like this open weave nylon, but you can put it under anything. This will look super cool under a sheer chiffon. Put that under chiffon and it will have a subtle look. You'll be able to see it subtly.